Job search tips. Social media. Social media, love it or hate it, it has become a huge part of our collective culture. It allows us to be instantly connected to people all over the world. This can be great to keep in touch with friends or family living far away. But have you ever considered how your online presence can impact your search for a job? In today's world, social media can be just as important to your professional life as it is to your personal one. In this video, we'll go over the positive and negative ways your social media presence can affect your job prospects, even after you land the job. The way you portray yourself online matters. In a survey conducted by the Harris Poll, over 70% of employers who responded said that they believe that using social networking sites to research potential job candidates is an effective way to screen applicants. And even after a candidate has gotten the job, 88% of employers and hiring managers surveyed would fire an employee for posting certain kinds of social media content. So, what are the certain kinds of social media content that employers are looking for during the screening process? Generally, they're looking for red flags. Things that might end up being a liability to the company down the line or potentially making an employee difficult to work with. These can include the sharing of illegal activities, offensive comments, violent or aggressive behavior, sexually explicit material, extreme political or religious viewpoints, or confidential information. The reality of living in the 21st century is that your online presence acts as a first impression for potential employers. Picture this. A hiring manager is impressed by your carefully crafted resume and conducts a quick online search to fill in some of the blanks about who you are as a person. If they see offensive or illegal material, they might assume that you're a divisive person or unserious about your career. Whether or not these conclusions are true becomes irrelevant because these first impressions matter. The same amount of care and consideration that you put into your resume should be put into your public-facing online persona. As scary as this might sound, according to the Harris Poll, a majority of employers surveyed will actually turn to social media to help rather than to hinder their impression of you. More often than not, employers look for information that supports a candidate's qualifications. For this reason, we recommend curating a professional online presence, separate from your personal accounts. Social media is actually one of many ways that you can improve your chances of getting hired. In addition to maintaining the proper online presence, you can use these apps to your advantage to show off your personality and work ethic. Websites such as LinkedIn can be incredibly useful tools to highlight your experience, expand your network, and even reach out to potential employers. Make sure to complete and frequently update your LinkedIn profile with all the details about yourself and your experience that you think a recruiter or hiring manager might be interested in. This way, they don't need to look much further to get a fuller sense of who you are and how you might be as an employee. Include job-specific keywords in your headline and summary, showcasing your skills and accomplishments in your field. Focus on highlighting the education, work, and volunteer experience that is relevant to the positions you are applying for. LinkedIn can also help you to network. You can connect with past and present colleagues, classmates, and acquaintances, and receive endorsements and recommendations for your skills and your work. Along with strengthening your current network, LinkedIn allows you to expand your network by joining and contributing to various groups and by following companies and topics that interest you. From there, you can interact with others that share similar interests, including industry professionals. According to recruitment expert Martin Fox, using your LinkedIn profile effectively can demonstrate your proactive approach and give you the edge over other candidates. Make your personal profiles private or restrict access to certain aspects to close friends. That way, you don't need to worry about things you post online, not passing a company's social media screening process. Don't, however, be tempted to delete your social media profiles altogether. About one in five employers in the Harris Poll survey said they won't call a person for an interview if they can't find them online. In addition to seeming like you're trying to hide something, it's not a good idea to delete your profile because it doesn't guarantee the data is completely gone. Instead, the best practice is to keep your social accounts private. Or, if you'd prefer to keep your profiles public, make sure they're clean and up to date. If you don't want to private all your accounts, you can use the more traditionally personal social media platforms, such as Instagram, Twitter or X, Facebook, and TikTok, to give employers a sense of who you are and how you might get along with others at the company. The question then becomes, how much is too much? 
that balance between professional and personal is one that you'll have to strike yourself by deciding how much access to give to those outside your circle. Every once in a while, take a minute to Google yourself in an incognito window, as this is likely the first step a potential employer might take when screening your online presence. It's good to know what will pop up and can allow you to get ahead of anything negative or embarrassing. This way, you can make sure all the top search results are things that you'd be fine with your employer seeing. In conclusion, social media is both a useful tool and a potential obstacle towards finding and keeping a job. It is an extension of yourself, even though it can feel like the real world is a totally separate entity from the world we create for ourselves online. Our actions online can have real-life consequences. Take a moment to stop and think before posting online. Be purposeful in the content that you create and share and think about how it may reflect on you to anyone not in your immediate friend group. If a potential employer were to see it during a screening, would it harm the chances of getting your dream job? If so, consider not publicly sharing it in the first place. Save anything that could be misconstrued for your private accounts, and focus instead on building a professional online presence to showcase your best self.